Yeah, you mentioned you grew up in Greenwich and you were there in 75. The first thing people ask you is, did you know Martha Moxley? Bellhaven, Connecticut is a small private community. It has big estates and almost no crime. But a 15-year-old girl has been brutally murdered there. Bellhaven, this was a virtually exclusive, very wealthy community in Greenwich, Connecticut, where murders just don't occur. My name's uh, Richard Burns, and I lived in Greenwich back then. It's the first time in 45 years we'd ever talked about it. My name is Tori Holland. I grew up in Bellhaven, and in 1975, I was 15, along with Martha. She just had this beaming personality and her beautiful blonde hair. Smiled all the time. I just smiled, you know, it just made you feel like you were the center of, of, of the world. The Skakels lived across the street from the Moxleys. They were a family of all these boys, except for Julie. I went to school with them, and Michael was a year behind me, and Tommy was a year ahead of me. It was a lovely place to grow up. You just felt safe. And that all changed after that night. The instrument used in the striking of the Moxley girl was a golf club. We know that. It was absolutely devastating. Nearly a quarter of a century would pass before police would make an arrest for the murder of Martha Moxley. 39-year-old Michael Skakel was charged with murder. Michael, did you kill her? I was shocked. It's like, Michael? I know Michael's innocent. The evidence is much stronger, suggesting that other people may have committed the crime. Bobby Kennedy Jr. is Michael's cousin, and he never believed for a minute Michael Skakel committed this crime. 27 years after the crime, Kennedy cousin Michael Skakel convicted in the murder of Martha Moxley. Michael Skakel spent 11 and a half years in prison until his conviction was overturned on appeal. An innocent man now goes free. But if Michael didn't kill Martha Moxley, then who did? This little girl, this cute little amazing girl, was murdered brutally by somebody. And I think it was somebody in that neighborhood. Could Martha's diary hold the clue? I believe all through this case, there's someone who's been keeping a secret. <laughs>